if you take a look at the animation you will find that a metallic sinker is being dipped in water now we have to find out the relative density of not the metallic sinker but a solid which is less dense than water so in order to find out the relative density of a solid less denser than water we need to carry out an experiment with a slight twist so over here first we consider a metallic sinker and not the solid whose relative density we need to consider so let's say in water the weight of the metallic sinker is w1 as is read from the scale next we dip the metallic sinker in water but over here we have tied the solid that is less denser than water at the top now as you can see when the metallic sinker is being dipped in water the solid in this case a cork is not dipping into water so this weight w2 is that of the sinker in water and the cork in air now the reason why we are doing this is if we were to simply place a cork on water it would not go inside because cork is less dense than water cork would remain floating so with this method we find out the weight of sinker in water and cork in air and we call it w2 next we tie the metallic sinker and cork together and then dip the entire thing in water we can easily find out the weight and it can be read directly from the scale as w3 so now what are the three things we got we got the weight of sinker in water as w1 weight of sinker in water and cork in air as w2 and weight of sinker in cork both in water as w3 now we know the formula of relative density as weight of a solid in air divided by loss in weight of the solid in water in this case the solid is cork so the formula will be weight of cork in air divided by weight of cork in air minus weight of cork in water now we do not have these values directly to us that is we do not have the values provided directly from the experiment the values that we have found out those will be utilized in calculating the weight of cork in air the weight of cork in water so let us see how we proceed we have w1 w2 and w3 that we obtained from our experiments now if you look closely you will find that w2 is weight of sinker in water and cork in air and w1 is weight of sinker in water so if i do w2 minus w1 what do you think it will give me the common term sinker in water will be eliminated and i will be left with cork in air so w2 minus w1 would give me the weight of cork in air because in both these cases the sinker remains in water so this is weight of cork in air thus we get w2 minus w1 as the weight of cork in air now consider w3 w3 is the weight of sinker in cork together in water now over here i have found out the weight of cork in air all i am left with is to find out the weight of cork in water so now i consider w3 and w1 w1 gives me weight of sinker in water w2 gives me weight of sinker and cork in water so if i subtract these two it will mean that the weight of sinker in water the common term gets eliminated and i am left with weight of cork in water thus weight of cork in water is equals to w3 minus w1 so now i have obtained weight of cork in air that is the numerator and the first term in the denominator and weight of cork in water that is the second term in the denominator so now let us try and proceed to find out the formula for relative density 
So over here, I will simply replace the values. The weight of cork in air is equal to W2 minus W1. So the same thing I write over here, W2 minus W1 minus weight of cork in water, which is W3 minus W1. So this is what I get. Now, relative density from this can be easily calculated if I simply simplify this expression. So, I open the brackets in the denominator. And what do I get? I will get W2 minus W1. And after opening the brackets, minus W3 plus W1. So, as you can see, W1 is present both in the positive as well as negative in the same expression. Thus, W1 gets cancelled and what I am left with is W2 minus W1 divided by W2 minus W3. And these are the results that we had got from our experiment. And thus, relative density can be very easily calculated. So now let us solve a simple sum in order to strengthen our concept. A piece of cork weighs 6.5 newtons in air is what the sum says. So 6.5 newton in air is the weight of the piece of cork in air. A lead sinker weighs 43 newtons in water and it is used to find the relative density of the cork. If the cork and sinker together weigh 11.5 newtons in water, what is the relative density of the cork? Now, before we start off solving, let me write the formula for relative density once more. That is, weight of cork in air divided by weight of cork in air minus weight of cork in water. So now the weight of cork in air has been given to us as 6.5 newtons. Now what we need to find out is the weight of cork in water. Now it is given to us that a lead sinker weighs 43 newtons in water. So lead sinker in water is equal to 43 Newton and the cork and sinker together in water weighs 11.5 Newton. So lead plus cork in water is equal to 11.5 Newton. Now if you look closely lead plus cork in water minus lead in water will give me the value for the weight of cork in water. So I move on to find out the weight of cork in water and that is nothing but 11.5 minus 43. So I get 11.5 Newton minus 43 Newton. That gives me a value of 31.5 Newton in the negative or minus 31.5 Newton. So it indicates that the weight is acting in the upward direction or in other words, the net force is in the upward direction. Now I have the weight of cork in air, the weight of cork in water as well. So now let us see how we can calculate the relative density of the cork. So I place the values in the formula and I get weight of cork in air, that is 6.5 Newton. So 6.5 divided by 11.5 minus 43 gave me minus 31.5. So again, 6.5 minus of minus 31.5. So now I rewrite that equation once again. 
So the relative density of cork that I had obtained was 6.5 divided by 6.5 minus of minus 31.5. Now two negatives will give me a positive. So I get 6.5 divided by 6.5 plus 31.5. Now 6.5 plus 31.5 is equal to 38. Thus, the RD of cork is equal to 6.5 divided by 38. Now as you can see from this fraction that the value is less than 1. And we know that cork is less dense than water. So we are proceeding in the right direction. Now simply simplifying this will give me the relative density of cork. So on simplifying this fraction, we get a value that is roughly equal to 0 0.17. So 0 0.17, which is clearly less than 1, is the relative density of cork. And this is how we have found out the relative density of cork, which is less dense than that of water.